Hi, so in this video we are going to prove one of the very famous theorems in geometry which is Pythagorean theorem. So as you all know Pythagorean theorem is a square plus b square is equal to c square. And what is a and b and c? If I draw any right angle triangle something like this and if I name it as ABC where this angle C is a right angle and the side opposite to vertex A is denoted as small a and the side opposite to vertex B is denoted as small b and the side opposite to vertex C is denoted as small c, right? Then what is a square? a square is nothing but the area of the square which has one side is equal to a. And similarly, b square is the area of the square which has one side equal to side b, right? And c square will be the area of the square whose each side is equal to length c. That means that will be the area of this square. So the area of this green square is a square and the area of this orange square is b square and the area of this white square is c square. So if we can prove that the sum of these two areas is equal to the c square, then this Pythagorean theorem is proved. And to prove that we are going to use the formulas of the area of triangle and square. So the area of triangle is equal to 1 by 2 height into base and the area of a rectangle is length multiplied by breadth. And now we have got six extra points. So let me name them. So how are we going to prove that? the area of this square is equal to the sum of the areas of these two squares. First, we are going to do few constructions. First, we are actually going to draw a line and this line CJ is actually parallel to AG. And we are actually going to prove the area of this rectangle is equal to this square and the area of this rectangle is equal to this square. And to prove that, I'm going to draw a few more lines. I'm going to draw a line from point C to G and I'm going to draw a line from point H to point B. Now, if you see properly, the line AH is equal to B and the line AC is also equal to B. Similarly, the line AG is equal to C and line AB is equal to C. So two lines are equal and the angle H AB is actually equal to angle HAC plus CAB that means 90 degree plus this angle and if we see in triangle GAC angle GAC is also equal to 90 degree this is 90 degree plus this small angle right so from side angle side these two triangles triangle HAB and C a, G are congruent. That means their areas will also be equal, right? And if we talk about the area of triangle H, A, B, what will be the area of this triangle? This is equal to 1 by 2 base into height. So if I take this H, A as the base of this triangle, the area of triangle H, A, B will be equal to 1 by 2. Base is B. And what about height? height of this triangle is also equal to B. This is the triangle between two parallel lines H, A and I, B. And the distance between these two parallel lines is actually equal to B. So it is actually half of B multiplied by B. That is 1 by 2 multiplied by B square. That is actually half of the area of this square. And this is also equal to the area of triangle G, A, C. That means this triangle, the area of this triangle is actually equal to the area of this triangle. And now if we talk about the line AG and JC, these two are parallel lines and the area of this triangle AGC will actually be half of the area of this rectangle, right? Because the area of this rectangle is the base AG multiplied by the height which is GJ. This is the height and the area of this triangle is also equal to half of AG multiplied by the height and height is again GJ. That means the area of this triangle is actually half of this rectangle. 
or you can say the area of this rectangle is actually the double of the area of this triangle that means the area of if I call this point as O, the area of rectangle AGJO is actually equal to 2 times the area of triangle HAB. That means the area of rectangle AGJO is actually the area of this square because this 2 will cancel this 2 and the area of that rectangle comes out to be the B square. That means the area of this orange shade rectangle is equal to the area of the square which has one side is equal to B. The area of this is actually B square. And similarly we can prove the area of this second rectangle that means the area of this will be equal to this. So to prove that let me do few more constructions again. So I am going to draw a line from this point A to this point E. And I am going to draw one more line which will be from point C to this point F. And here if we see properly this triangle CBF that means this triangle is actually congruent to this triangle. Because both of them have one side is equal to C and other side is equal to B and this angle is actually equal to this angle, right? So both these triangles are congruent and their area will also be same. And area of this triangle which I have recently shaded in this light pink color will actually be equal to the half of the area of this square in the green. Again by same logic, this triangle is between two parallel lines which are BE and AD. So the height of this triangle is also A and the base of this triangle is also A. So the area of this triangle will be half of A square which is half of the area of this square in green. Right? Similarly, the area of this triangle will be half of A square right? because these two triangles were congruent. And the area of this triangle will actually be half of the area of this rectangle because that triangle is again inscribed between two parallel lines BF and CJ. If we take BF as the base, the JF will become the height and the area of that triangle can also be represented as half of BF multiplied by JF. And the area of this rectangle is BF multiplied by JF. That means the area of this rectangle is actually the double of the area of that triangle. That means the area of this light green rectangle is equal to the area of the green square, this square. So in this way we have actually proved the area of the square with one side is equal to C is actually equal to the sum of these two areas. This tiny rectangular stripe is actually equal to this square in area and this area is equal to this area. Right? So this is the proof of Pythagorean theorem in simple way. This is only one of the videos. There are so many other method in which we can prove Pythagorean theorem and I actually like this topic. So I'm going to take few more method and explain them to you. So keep watching Math Smart and bye bye till then.